But a bottle of rare Burgundy it's wine... Burgundy. You uh, love has Burgundy. Sold for, no, I, I, I quite like Burgundy. I prefer... <laughs> I prefer Bordeaux. Anyway, uh, I don't it's know the for, difference. I know you don't. You just think it's Lee Bramos, all of it. It's just sold for a record-breaking £424,000. One bottle of Burgundy after going under the hammer at Sotheby's in New York. So it is Romani Conti, one of just 600 produced in 1945. The guide price was £24,000. What on earth is so special about this bottle of wine? Uh, Joe Fatterini knows. He's presenter of ITV's The Wine Show. Very good morning to you. Um, if you spend more than £400,000 on a bottle of wine, do you ever open it? And how good must it taste to justify all of that money? Well, I think people, I think somebody will open this actually because uh, from the sounds of it, I have a friend who was in the auction room at the time and he said a lot of the bids were coming in from overseas, uh, probably from Asia. And my experience, we went to Hong Kong a couple of years ago and people do open these kind of things regularly. There was a dinner club, the guy said he has a six figure dinner three or four times a week where people open bottles of wine worth more than $100,000 a time. Wow. It's not the taste. That's not why people are opening this. This was, just bear in mind, when. There was, there was only 600 bottles. On the 2nd of May that year in 1945, there was a horrific frost which devastated lots of vineyards. That's why there's very little wine from 1945. 2nd of May 1945, historians will remember, was the day that Marshal Zhukov took Berlin. And the summer warmed up all the way through 1945, just becoming gradually better. There was a small cyclone, I think, in June. But it, it was, it's the history, the romance of it. This wine sort of began its life the day that Nazism fell. It was harvested by people smiling for the first time right, in here's my you know, six yeah. years. Well, That's here's my what's so special right. about but Joe, this. Joe, here's my problem. I, I like my wine. I particularly like my French wine. My father has always given me uh, one great piece of advice, always drink the best French wine you can afford. I can't afford this. Right? Oh, yes, you can. Uh, and I don't know who in the Your world wages. would pay such a ridiculous amount of money when you could actually buy, instead, 200 or more bottles of my favourite, Chateau Le Tour 61, which I think is a far, far more superior wine. Well, yes, except what happened in 1961. I mean, maybe if it's your birthday, that's an emotional pull. I'm not denying it's a very good wine. Bear in mind, I mean, I was checking out 61 Latour last night, I think with taxes it's about £6,600. Mm. So most of us, I certainly don't fall into the bracket of people who drink a lot of, to be honest, I've never had 61 Latour. But even that is a wine that's in a totally different realm. This isn't buying wine because it's wine, this is buying wine because it's something extraordinary and special. To be honest, you know, 61's really nice wine, I'm sure. 45 Roni Conti is very nice mm -hmm. wine. Um, the reason people do it is the same reason people buy Damien Hirst's or James Bond's yeah. Aston Martin. It's to go and have a piece of history. Well, it's a fascinating debate. I'm sure most of our viewers are looking at this and going, what on earth? 400 grand for a bottle of wine, but, you know, <clears throat> it's... Uh, it could be off huh? if it's corked. It could, I mean, you get your money yeah, back. Final question, Joe. It, well, it could be corked, couldn't it? It could be corked. Um, yeah, the, in those days, probably, what, about one bottle in, who knows, about 20 is corked. You could go and pull it out. I've certainly been to tastings where somebody's pulled out yeah. a, a cork, it's been a fabulously expensive bottle of wine, and we've gone, no, that's wrecked. There's no way you can go and drink that at all. But that's part of the romance of wine. Joe, great to talk to you. I put it into some kind of uh, context. It really is. It's about the rarity value, isn't it? Mm. Like anything. And Just, all that amazing rare. history associated yeah, with it. Yeah, it's a great story, but that's not why I drink wine. I don't, I don't drink wine thinking, oh, God, I wonder what happened in 1945. I drink it because I like glugging the stuff. Mm, and I don't and I'm drink telling it at you, the Tour 61, if you're going to spend 400 grand on wine, take my advice, viewers, <laughs> and go and buy 200 bottles of the Tour 61. Or just and then to thank Aldi your uncle and get, get a bottle for under a fiver.